guys, in this video, we're going to learn about the distributive property. So remember in elementary school where you had an array. So notice we have 2 by 3 plus 2 by 5. Okay, so that's 2 times 3 and 2 times 5. And then it's 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 2 by 8, okay? 2 by 8 or 2 parentheses 3 plus 5. This is the main way we're going to write it because you're multiplying the 2 by the 3 and by the 5. So let's look at this one. We've got 2 by 2 and 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 by 5. So we have 2 times 2 and 2 times 5. Then the thing that's in common, the common factor, is 2. That's going to go on the outside. And then you're going to add the 2 plus the 5. So 2 times 2 plus 2 times 5 equals 2 parentheses 2 plus 5. The next one is 3 by 4. Oh, this one's not by four. Let's look at what it is. One, two, three, four, five. So it's three times four and three times five. The three is the factor that's the same, so that's gonna go on the outside, and then it's gonna be four plus five. So here we go. Let's create this visual model. So notice that the, I like to draw the little lines to help me, because then I'm gonna do two times four plus two times six. Okay, so I know I'm gonna do two down. So two, and then one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, and then one more six. So it's two by six plus, oh, I should've done the four first. Let's uh. fix that. Sorry about the dog sound. So it's gonna be two by four, 2 by 4 plus 2 by 6, okay? So the visual model, 2 by 4 and then 2 by 6. So try this one on your own and then come back and watch the video. Okay, distributive property. So it's 4 times 5 and 4 times 3. Four by five plus four by three. Okay, try this next one. Okay, here we go. Three by four and three by two. Plus three by two. Very good. Okay, so now let's look at it without. The distributive property lets you multiply a sum by first multiplying each add in separately then adding them together. So remember, it's just the same thing, and then it's five times two plus five times three. So those ones are equal. Think about like a balance scale. They are equal, so they are equal. Yes. Okay, so let's look at this one. Remember, draw your little lines. Remember to distribute the number on the outside of the parentheses into each part. A lot of people do it times the first part and forget to do it by the second. So it's six times three, Six times three, and then it's six times two. Okay, six times three is 18. Eight, six times two is 12. Let's look at the next, why don't you do this one? Draw your little lines and then check it. Five by four, five by three. Five times four is 20, plus five times three is 15. So these ones are the exact same, but notice the subtraction sign in the middle goes in between the parentheses and in between the two numbers. Okay, 
So it's 2 times 8 minus 2 times 5. 2 times 8 is 16 minus 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, try this one. 4 times 8 minus 4 times 6. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 6 is 24. So it's 32 minus 24. Okay, let's try these ones. You gotta write all the parts out. Bloop, bloop. Okay, so it's gonna be nine times seven minus nine times six. Yes, it has to be a subtraction sign in between. Yes, it has to be a subtraction sign. Okay, try this next one on your own. Okay. Oh, I can write the next step. It equals 63 minus 54. Four times five plus four times one equals 20 plus four. Three times nine, whoop, minus. Three times one, three times nine is 27 minus three. Okay, try this whole slide and then come back and watch it. Okay, 10 times three plus 10 times two equals 30 plus 20. Okay, so let's go the other way now. So what factor in both sets of parentheses is the same? It's the four, parentheses plus four, plus two, because you can double check it, four times four, and then four times two. Here the nine's the same, so the nine gets pulled out, and it's three plus two, bloop, bloop, check the sign in the middle, we're good. Okay, make sure you filled all of this out, and make sure it gets turned in.